Hey guys, it's Chips to be back with another Beast Swarm Simulator video and today guys, well we're talking hives, yeah. It's time to customize this hive, get this sorted out, let's turn from blue to red. But before we do, let's go get a star amulet and see if we get ourselves a double passive. That would be real nice. I haven't had one yet and I haven't wanted to waste a bunch of honey. But hey guys, let's see how we go. At least need a scorching star if I'm going to make this red hive work. Because, well, I want to kill these mobs a lot quicker. Because, yeah, if I'm just going to be doing this every now and again, I want to get in and out. So let's generate the star amulet now, guys. Here we go. Boom. Gummy star. Great. Uh, let's keep the old and go again. Yeah, this is going to be expensive. Star shower. Wow, nobody really wants that one. Uh, let's go guiding star. Boring. Let's keep going. This is expensive, guys. This is expensive. I should actually be paying more attention to these gummy stars. But wow, star shower again. No passives, guys. Look, I'm just wasting money here. Look at this gummy star again. So, star shower, boring. Come on, scorching star. Okay, I'm going to give up the double passive idea. That would be handy. Uh, I'm going to give up double passive with just the scorching star. Would oh, pub star, that's nice. Uh, pub star again, that's still nice. Now, I'm oh, finally. Okay, let's have a look at this, guys. Scorching star, uh, 2.5 capacity, 60% uh, blue pollen. Like, seriously? Yeah, what do I want blue pollen for in a scorching star? Let's go again. Let's replace it, and uh, in case we actually don't get it again, let's go again. Yeah, let's keep this old, and we're going to keep on rolling through this, guys, until we get something decent. Like a double passive would be nice, but something with a red boost would be better as well, guys. I need a red pollen boost here. Guiding star, yeah, that's right. Yeah, nothing, guys, nothing. Oh, this is horrible. Gummy again. Let's just keep on get What a waste. What a waste of honey, guys. Scorching star. What do we got here? 24% pollen from bees. Instant conversion. Oh, that's handy. 30% pollen generally. 25% uh, blue. Yeah, 6% ability rate. That actually doesn't look too bad. Guys, I think I might keep this. I like the instant conversion. And I like the ability rate plus. Because, well, that just gets these things going a lot quicker. And you might actually get the Scorching Star working. So, well, look, I'm not going to get the extra red. But let's just replace that now. And say yes. And we'll just keep that. Now we're going to go back to the hive. And actually, you know, configure it, guys. Because it's a mess. It is a total mess right now. So I'm going to go and fix this right up, guys. I'm going to fix it right up. Check this out. Uh, look how much blue is in here. We don't want that. Uh, yeah. So we're going to get rid of that. We don't need a bunch of these vector bees as well. So what do I need to get this going? I probably need some more uh, mythic bees. Oh, boy. Because I don't have enough. Yeah, you think actually what I might do is get the other bees first then I might try my luck with some mythics uh, Let's open the shop and we'll buy a bunch of these. How much do we need? Let's get a bunch of royal jellies uh, Yeah, I don't probably need that much. Let's get yeah, that'll do 10,000 will be enough Let's go and do the legendary gifted bees first I think that's probably a better go, guys. Let's go and do that. We need a bunch of these as well. We don't want Mythic right now. We're going to do Legendary and Required Gifted. So we're going to see how we go with that. Uh, let's just get rid of... Well, we're going to have to get rid of some of these Tampole Bees. Let's get rid of the ones that aren't actually gifted to start with. So, yeah, that's that's a good one there. Let's go and do that right now and see what we can get. Now, I need a Rad Bee and it needs to be gifted. What the? Seriously? Did it not make it gifted? You are serious, guys. I just spent 10000 on one bee. Wow, that's horrible. Uh, let's go back and get some more. That was horrible, guys. I got a Rad Bee, but it wasn't even gifted. Okay, this could take a little bit more uh, effort than I think. I might have to do it a different way. Let's just get some more. And we'll try this again. But wow, that was horrible. Uh, seriously? Is it that hard to get a gifted legendary bee? All right, let's go again. Let's just double check those settings. Uh, yeah, on legendary required gifted. So yeah, maybe I could not, not get them gifted. But I kind of do. I need them gifted. So let's go again. And uh, we'll see how we go with the royal jellies, guys. Let's go. Actually, I could probably just use the gifted star jellies. What am I thinking? All right, let's go. Gifted Lion Bee. I don't actually need a Lion Bee. Let's use another one and a Stubborn Bee. Okay, this is a rubbish idea, guys. That was a rubbish idea. Yeah, let's not do it until Legendary. 
this is scaring me guys this is scaring me uh required gift let's turn all that stuff off because it's going to be gifted anyway we're going to put a jelly on there so let's transform that and get a gifted shock bee i don't need a shock bee i don't need a uh, bomber bee i think i no, i don't need a bomber bee i don't need a frosty bee yeah this is going great a uh, hasty don't really need a hasty bee I do need a brave bee. So that's a start. Wow, that didn't take long. Uh, let's go again. We've got lots of star jelly. So let's keep going with this. See where we get to. Uh, gifted bomber, don't need it. Cool bee, no, that's blue. So yeah, we need a rage bee. So this is good. Have I got a rage bee already? No, that is good, guys. So we're actually moving along quite nicely here. Uh, basically, we're after red type bee. So let's transform this one. Exhausted. This is not really going as well as I thought, guys. I will come back when I've actually upgraded some of these bees. And I will talk to you very soon. Yeah, I'm going to need looker. Okay, and that is it. Yeah, wow, that took a while, guys. Uh, and I used around about 300 star jellies. I got a bunch of things that I needed, though. So let's go through the list right now and see what this hive actually looks like. So it's kind of a combination between like an attack hive and I obviously want to get as much pollen as I can. Uh, I've got the Scorching Star as well so I'm kind of like a little bit on the fence. Obviously I don't have any line bees. I could probably add those. Let's see how we go guys. We've got a basic bee obviously. We want to just take advantage of that and I don't want to get rid of that because it's gifted. So that is good guys. A brave bee, yes, well, it has a plus one attack, so that is good. Uh, we've got a looker bee, now that's going to give me extra critical power for attack, so that's pretty good too. A rad bee, well, you've got to get 10% extra pollen, so this is my sort of sacrifice, my combination, guys. This is my combination of a attack high and also being able to get lots of red pollen. So we've got rascal bee here, that's going to give me 25% red bomb. Uh, it also has red bomb token, which is actually really important for the scorching star. Uh, stubborn bee well that's going to give me a pollen mark and also I like the 20% ability token lifespan because I ain't quick picking these things up guys I'm not quick so it gives me a little bit longer time to pick those up and that is good so command to be yeah critical chance uh, gives us a little bit more focus and uh, we keep going down here fire bee yeah, 1.5 pollen from flames so scorching star that should really help a little bit guys because well it is a gifted uh honeybee i wasn't sure about this one 1.5 honey from tokens it does have the honey mark and the honey gift as well so look i've left that one in i might change that one at some stage because like it's only a one attack uh a one rage bee gifted yes because it's another plus one riley bee i've got four of those uh they have 10 percent red pollen uh but you get the red boost and look at the attack guys it's a five attack Attack, so that's pretty good uh the shock bee missed that carpenter bee now i've got these i've got the 25 percent pollen from tools but more importantly i've got the pollen marks and that's going to be really important because i've got a few vector bees as well now i do want to get a demon bee i think uh it has very good attack a uh, gifted hive bonus of 25 percent red bomb not going for that but it does have a red bomb token and gathering flames so that is also pretty handy to have so i'm going to try to get that one a little bit later uh i'll customize this hives here we go music bees i've got three of these guys because you want the melody focus and the uh, token link so that is going to be pretty powerful uh the shy bee well look at that another 10 percent red pollen attacks not so good it does have the red boost and red bomb as well so that's a combination working for me uh fuzzy bee yes of course i'm going to keep that because that gives me a bunch of bomb pollen and also the fuzzy pollen haze and stuff like that so yes spicy bees i've got seven i probably need more i've got attack of five uh flame duration improvement inferno rage uh tokens and flame fueled steam engine i've got a bunch of stuff there guys i've got some gifted i might have to turn some more tadpole big guys i can't get rid of them oh look at the attack it's horrible uh, i can't get rid of them at this point in time i might have to just convert and get rid of some of them but we'll see how we go with this hive uh four vector bees for the pollen mark triangulation and mark surge they've actually got a pretty good decent attack as well if you didn't know uh and i've got those gifted as well so well some of them are gifted uh well two are gifted uh yeah so we've got the bear bee of course you want the extra pollen from that the crimson bee is in now 10 percent instant conversion and uh yeah that's handy too look at that attack six guys don't discount the cobalt or crimson bees the festive bee surprisingly has a really rubbish attack it does convert quite a bit of uh pollen which is great but it 
gives us a 10% red pollen boost. So we want that as well. Uh, the gummy bee, well, we know that, guys. We know the gummy bee. The photon bee, I like the instant conversion. Keeping it, tabby bee was well, very good. Critical power and also makes honey really quickly. Vicious bee, of course, we want that. Attack seven, guys. Attack seven. Uh, that is pretty impressive. And the windy bee, finally. Yes, attack of three, but it's got all these other things. Tornado, I love it. All right, so that is my hive. Yes, oh, that's it, guys. So that's sort of a semi-attack collect honey hive. But let's go and get a mask because, well, we want to do this properly. And then we'll see how we actually go. Okay, guys, so that is it. We've got the mask on. I actually wanted to go ahead and get this Crimson Bee upgraded as well. So let's put one of the star treats on it. What the? Seriously, I cannot see anything. Let's give the Crimson Bee and let's turn it gifted. Uh, yeah, so we're ready to go, guys. We are ready to go. We're going to go and smash out the coconut crab. We'll see how we go. See if we've got any improvements on the hive and all of that. So let's get up there. And we're going to see how my new attack hive goes against the coconut crab. So let's get in there, guys. Let's go. Now, I should drop these as well, guys. I should drop these uh, coconuts. This is going to definitely help. Uh, I should also be using my stingers as well because I really want to smash this out. So let's get some seriousness going here. Oh, I should have loaded up on a bunch of these other tokens first. Oh, this is not going great. Okay, I'm looking for... Yeah, we need that. We need that, guys. We need everything. We want to hit this guy with the coconuts. Oh, let's smash into him. Let's smash into him. Get some bonuses going here. Uh, yeah, that's about gone. Oh, I've got a bit of lag, guys. Got a bit of lag. Hopefully this does okay, though. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get some of that. Look at those. Uh, grab those. Grab that. We've also got this guy. Oh, wow. We're doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Uh, let's go. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. We just got one of these to get. Let's get that really quickly. That's about it. Hopefully we can get... Oh, let's not get killed. All right, let's definitely not get killed. There we go. Oh, what? Seriously? I got killed at the last second. Dang it. I wonder if, in fact, I actually got that score. We'll go check that in a second. Uh, let's get up here. And boom, look at this. All this good stuff. Except I can't pick it up with all the tokens. But you get to see what's actually available up here. There's always plenty of star jelly. Always plenty of star jelly, guys. You gotta keep this in mind. You gotta do the coconut crab as often as you can. Now I've got some beasts coming. Oh boy, it's taking like forever to get myself. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. All right, we should go and check out that score. In fact, I don't even know what the time was. Let's quickly go into the tunnel here and have a look and uh, see what it said. Uh, yeah, my fastest is th uh, 40 seconds and I killed it in one minute and five seconds. That is pretty decent, guys. That is pretty decent. My record was actually done at Beastmas when there was all those buffs and we were getting like level 20 Bs and all sorts of stuff. So there is that as well, guys. And I did look over-optimized there. I could have used the focus tokens a little bit more. So that's pretty good, guys. I've got plenty of room to move. I'm definitely not in the 7 to 8 seconds category at this point in time. Uh, yeah, I do want to keep on and get some honey for this game because Beastmas is coming soon, guys. And we're going to need a bunch of stuff. And I think I'm going to get my Bs a little bit more powerful than they are. Let's have a quick look at them again. Yeah, level 15, not good enough, guys. Not good enough for Beastmas. So I'm going to try to get these guys up to like level 16, at least for Beastmas, to help out if we have to do that snow bear again. Oh, please, no more snow bear. Anyway, guys, well, that is my hive conversion. Uh, yeah, I still can't get rid of all of those tadpole bees, but hey, guys, over time, I might just relinquish a few once I actually know what I need. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got time for today. Please like and subscribe, and until next time, it's bye for now. Okay.